Yes, and we are starting to go live. Um, hi. Oh, yeah, I think we're live. Um, so this is me, Mohammed from Max Ottawa, the Community Engagement Support Coordinator. I'll be waiting a few minutes before I'm gonna start. I know it's early for a dessert, uh, but it's never early to learn something or getting a recipe. So let's see. Yay! Hi. The music is good. I'm just looking online for cooking background music, but I know I'm always have been a bad DJ. So if you are suggesting certain music, let me know. You can comment on the bottom. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm so happy that we are breaking some isolation, just going live. I have been seeing myself in a camera more than I have seen myself in my whole life in a mirror. So it's interesting and it's fun and uh, wild, I say. But anyway. So who's ready for some dessert? And actually it's a Middle Eastern North African dessert uh, so today I'm gonna be making a traditional cake um, it's called semolina yogurt cake um, I apologize for people who are vegan <laughs> uh, for the naming but um, we're gonna be talking about alternative things um, plus I'm gonna be telling you what's inside that cake. Um, yeah, so it's an easy recipe. I, um, I do remember the first time I tried it, I like, and here actually I'm gonna shout out to one of my friends in Toronto. Uh, she came to visit and she said like, okay, why don't we just pick something? I said like, oh, oh, oh it's at second level. It's a, it's a high level for me. I always know how to cook, but I never know how to bake. So she said, it's an easy recipe. Let's do it. And I've been always, my mom had been using this cake, at the family, but I never made it anyway. But in December, it was the first time that I made it by myself. And, and that, like, I mean, I have been making it like five times now as much as easy okay without any further i'm gonna maybe show you the ingredients that i have and at the same time maybe telling you what's the ingredients so the recipe is in a paper with me and also in the laptop um if you want to know like if you want recipe to be sent to you please just email or or just comment here and i will be email it to you later or find a way um yes so i'm gonna be turning on the camera yes so i do have here the semolina and it's wheat wheat paste uh but also i kept this for you in case so this is how it looked like the package but also there is cornmeal for people who are not maybe gluten free or so they can use a, a different uh, uh semolina I have the coconut, the sugar, and I have the uh, flour, baking powder, and this is what do I call it, the dry ingredients. And I do have here the liquid ingredient, which is the uh, vegetable oil, yogurt, vanilla extract, and I have the eggs, and there's lemon as well. I do want to mention here so some ingredients that may not have it or you may have allergy or you just prefer to have another thing so it's up to you you can really uh, for example instead of having a yogurt you can have um, a coconut uh, milk maybe or something based on more like a vegan based 
you can also let's say what's something that you can change as well put the recipe here yeah so basically you can put even two food so for people who wanted to have I have uh, more than one recipe, one like vegan recipe, one gluten free recipe, and we're just like the my recipe. So if you want to have the other recipe, just let me know as well in the comment. We're gonna have a few minutes while I'm um, like once it's in the oven, we'll have some time where we can chat and I will be answering some questions if you want to. Uh, okay, so so I already put some. I already because. Okay, let's start with what do you would need. You would need two pounds of these as well to mix the things. You will need a grater uh, for the lemon and you need a whistle. Uh, yeah, that's no, that's a spatula. And you need a whistle, which is here as well, where we're going to be using it later. Um, yes, so I already put here one cup of uh, semolina I put one cup of uh, coconut I am trying to really reducing my sugar so I'm I put only half cup but it's up to you you can put one cup I put one cup of uh, flour as well and I bought the packing powder which is this one is around 14 gram um, so it's only one package I put them together and I'm gonna be mixing them Oh. Mm. And now I think I will just put the camera aside and I will you'll be watching what I'm gonna be doing. I think it's good. I'm working from home and like using my phone for this, so bear with me. Thank you. Yes. So this is what do I be calling at the uh, uh, the dry uh, uh, ingredients, which is I'm just going to mix them very well. Actually, I just noticed that I started making the, the dessert without telling you what it. Uh, no, it's called actually. So it's called the coconut yogurt cake, but also uh, in Syria and in Egypt and other countries they call it pespusa or they call it as well harissa, and this is what we call it in Syria. We in my hometown and in my family we call it harissa. Okay, so I'm mixing the first texture, mixture, and I'm gonna mix them just, just very well, making sure that they are really well mixed. Cool, and I will be putting them aside. And now here, I'm gonna be putting doing the other pound, which is the liquidish one. Uh, so this is a, a third cup of vegetable oil. It's canola oil, and you can just you can use butter. I don't really use a lot of butter in my cooking, but you can use it as well if you want to. It's up to you. Uh, here I have a yogurt, but also you can use a you can substitute it with tofu. If you would like to or um, coconut based yogurt anything like this so it's the yogurt here and now I'm gonna put in three eggs I couldn't really pre-prepare it for, for, the, for this texture because I'm afraid that they're gonna get together and they get fermented or something. Um, or they start to be chemical together, is that the word? Um, so here's the vanilla extract. I'm gonna be putting, I think half a teaspoon. Let's see, yeah. I think that's enough. Okay. And the last thing I will be doing here, and this is the secret in this recipe is um, the zest of the uh, lemon. 
so we use it from inside and from outside and inside and now um, I don't have really a zester so I'm using the grater which is also good if you have one you can use it <laughs> music makes me feel like I want to dance If you have any questions, please type them down. I know sometimes I may just do things that are talk without really explaining, so I'll have some time once the cake in the oven where we can chat a bit. Because I really want to show you the last result. Okay. So, and now, this is Jer. Should I set the fir the last thing? But no, there is one last thing: is juicing the lemon itself. So, and here we are. Um, last week I tried it with lime. It turned really good, so you can even change the uh, the lemon to the lime if you want to, or even orange. Oh, hi! How are you doing? It's a learning. Uh, it's a skill for life. So once I learned it, I'm like now doing it every time. Okay, and now it's the time to mix all the, this texture first together. And I'm using whistle. Yay. Tell me what are you doing this afternoon? What's going on? I cannot wave back, I will be waving at some point. Okay, so here's the. F it's a bit liquidy, but you're gonna see how that's gonna be turning out. Oh, I forgot to put the oven actually. So I'm gonna be reheating the oven on. Um, 350 Fahrenheit. Um, yes, so the oven is going to be ready in this time. Uh, I'll be posting there with this video the recipe, so it'll be fine if you want to follow. You can, watch it any you can watch this video anytime and you can make it in your own time. Okay, so the oven is reheating right now on 350 Fahrenheit. I have the first bowl with the liquidish uh, ingredients. I have the the dry things together, and after mixing this, uh, I just wanna just double check to see if I mess anything before I mix them together. So once again. I have here one cup of semolina, I have one cup of coconut, I have one cup of all-purpose flour, uh, picking powder around 16 gram, um, half cup of sugar, but you can make it sweet as much as you can, but do remember there's a syrup that's gonna come after in the next stage, so it's gonna make really sweet, so if you want to you can just reduce it to half cup as I did. What's up to you? So in this bowl, we, I have the three um, eggs. I have one cup of yogurt, and I have one lemon, the zest, and the juice. And we have some vanilla extract in it. Um, and yeah, the vegetable oil. Right. So the next step will be mixing the two together in one bowl. I do like. This is my favorite part where I really 
see how this all the end green is coming all together in one thick mix can you see <laughs> oh gee okay do you know the story of my shirt my t-shirt You know, I I was preparing this morning thinking about this life and about this recipe and like I thought to wear this shirt. So if you are able to read it, let me know what you think. Okay, so now I'm mixing the whole endogenous together. And I like to move the towel where like you can get the whole dry things to make sure that it's all properly uh, as you can see I can't really see if you can really see if there is like sometimes you would find there is some spots that you didn't touch so you need to make sure that all the spots have been hidden so I just move the towel mm. okay it's and I said this will be turning to be a thick uh, Okay, we'll chat a bit later about that. We'll have some time once I will be making the syrup and once this cake in an oven, I'll have some time and chat. So if you have any question, let me know, type it down. Okay, so I'm gonna be, okay, I'm gonna show, I wanna wash my hands and I'm gonna show you how the texture is starting to be. I'm sorry for any noise. <sighs> okay. So, it's, it's a thicky texture. Um, and it's all one. As I like to say, it's all one soul. Uh, okay. So, the texture is ready. Um, I know some people like to keep it for a while, like for 10 to 15 minutes, uh, but that's gonna make it a bit dry, and even the the result gonna be a bit dry, so the cake gonna be a bit dry. If you would like it this way, I do like my cake moist, so I would pref I prefer just to have it right away in the oven. So I have here my baking dish. I already grace it with some tahini, but you can put olive oil, oil, you can put butter, you can put anything just like in, so the, for the cake will not stick there. And now, I'm gonna be placing the mixture and the... Don't worry, I'll be showing you what's happening there. I'm just thinking now, I wish there was a camera here where I can just show you what I'm doing. My roommate is in a, a video conference, so he's not available to help today. But he would be helpful in eating that cake later. Um, I'm gonna be using the spatula just to clean to make sure that everything is being taken down. Okay, and so it's up to you how you. I like to just to shake it like this so I can put the the cake, place it. want to get down so well so now uh, the, the texture and the pan just wanna put my hands uh, yes I'm gonna show you how it looks like so this is how it looks right now you can see it I guess uh, the lighting is really not super 
But anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh, Wafa. Um, I. So the last thing we're gonna be doing for the cake before we place it in the oven, I'm gonna be just like garnish it, putting some things on the, on the top to look good, and even for the test. Um, so I have some almond, a plain almond, and some pistachio. Uh, uh, but there's one thing that you can do. So, uh, so as you see, the the pan is square, but it's up to you. Some people like the shape of maybe round, so it's up to you really how to uh, where, what type of baking pan you would like to to put in. Uh, so, but as it's square. I will be cutting the cake to a square. So I'm gonna be using um, a butter knife so I can be putting some nuts over it and once it's ready you can just cut it in a way to look um, so you can get that nut. Um, I'm gonna be holding my phone I'm to show you how I'm gonna be cutting it. So just a really way of uh, uh, you're doing border and it's not really cutting it just more sharpening or walking through over the cake just so you can see where are you placing your stuff and I'll be shaking it again after I put the um, the nut, but I'm just doing this move so I can see where to put the almond. Um, okay, so there you are. Um, you can put any type of nuts you like. Um, I do remember the first time my friend showed me how to make this cake. She made it like, I'll show you, it's look like hearts by almond, so look like really cool. I don't know if this look like a heart or not, but anyway, so this is one special piece. Mm. So the whole cake and things supposed to take around for t between preparation and baking should take around uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, I'll be speaking Arabic in a bit, but I cannot really do more than like two, three, four things together. I hope you will learn something today, Ahmad. Maybe. So I'm putting, I'm placing now the pistachio. <laughs> it's a lunch time almost. No, it's actually it's past lunch time. Anyway, so. Um, it's lovely. Oh. Yay. <laughs> okay, so I finished garnishing the top and now I'm just gonna be just shaking it again. Make sure you don't have neighbors. If you have neighbors, do not shake it this way or as you like. Anyway, so I just to make sure that's all like smoothly as you can see the surface is good and now it's time to place it in the oven So the oven had been preheated for a while now it's on 400 um, 400 Fahrenheit Which is 200 200 cellos and here in my oven, I'm gonna be place it on the bottom rack. 
And now I can leave it. And now it's the time to make the syrup. Uh, the syrup is really uh, easy to make. I think some people maybe prefer to buy it, but I do prefer to make it. Uh, so for each cup you need, for each cup of sugar you need each you need one cup of uh, water. So I'm gonna be putting two cups. Yes. Uh, la la la. Here we are. And. <laughs> Surat al Harisa. Where did I get the Harisa picture? Okay, so now in a pan, in a cooking pan, cooking pot, I will be putting the sugar and another two cups of water. And I will be cooking that for 10 minutes and that's where the syrup will come from. Just want to make sure that it's two cups because it's look like it will not maybe turn really good. I just want to make sure that they have the right measure. Uh, yes, so I will be cooking the uh, water and the sugar on a high temperature for around 10 minutes and you're gonna be seeing my face again oh, no, no, no. Okay. and I will be stirring from time to time uh, so now the cake is in the oven and the syrup on the oven as well oh summon summon out okay so gonna go back to the chat see if there's any question in this time uh, Khaled hi Wafa Yani Oji So I have a comment here from Oji saying مش عاش بغطبع اطبع عند غيري It's uh, it's Arabic bun It's Arabic written bun mean uh, or black mood words. I mean, if you don't like my type, find someone in your type. Or it could be if you don't like my typing, which is the using or like a printer or so. It could be it has many meanings. But basically, if you don't like my mood or my type, go print with someone else or something. But anyway, it make fun of you if you understand Arabic. Yes, well, uh, I miss your food as well. Taught me a lot. <laughs> what am I? I am baking. So I am making um, a semolina yogurt cake. Uh, it's called harissa. It's not the North African harissa. So the North African harissa, it's more a spice, spicy spice things. Uh, I think they make it out of pepper. Wafa, let us know. What do you? But this one is more. Um, What's the word? I'm just looking to my syrup now. It's about to start to boil. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a, it's a spicy thing. But in Syria, we call it harissa as well. We we call this dessert is harissa or this cake. So yes, yeah, so Wafa, I'm making a cake. Well, uh, so it starts to boil. So I'm gonna just put it back a bit, or like just stir it. To make this syrup. Thank you, Yanni. I hope you're gonna try it. Ahmed saying, What? Uh, okay. Thank you, Ahmed. Okay, I'm gonna be speaking Arabic a bit. But hey, how is it? 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 Anyway, if you wonder, is a bit like the words for Khabarni. Basbusa, Wafa, yes, it's Basbusa. Agar, hi. Ah, yes, I hope you're gonna try it. Yusuf, hi. Can you keep some from me? Um, 
I cannot promise, but maybe you can try yet and let me know how it would be turning. Um, I will make it for you once everything back to normal or once we find a way how we can deliver things or how we can and this time uh, oh okay yay Eli is watching hi Eli uh, will you put some lemon with the syrup um Actually, this is one, so I've tried it with lemon, I've tried it with putting lemon before, and I've tried it without lemon, so it's really up to you, I think make it thicker, do you know why people put lemon? And actually, I needed to add some rose, water rose, and, good to see you, benefit the foreign world and something, thank you, it's about sharing. Like people when they travel and they move from place to place, they take their skills, they take their food with them, and uh, and this is how we enrich our experience. This is how we have our fabric. So, can I say hi to Yusuf? Oh, Yusuf, hi, Habibi, Yusuf, hi. You are doing well. That's cooling. Martin, hi. Uh, yeah, the here we are. And we'll be putting some rose water with this texture for the syrup. So I put like maybe five drops. And now it's up to you because it really make it. The rose water has a distinguished taste. So, uh, so here we are. Exactly, yes. So, as well as saying exactly, the North African harissa is a super spicy made from red chili pepper. Whoa! Thank you, Wafa. Thank you for sharing that. So, yeah, it's. Uh, so there's more than one meaning, so be careful. This is a sweet dessert. Sweet cake. It's not a spicy. Woohoo! The dessert is cooked. I'm excited to see the harissa. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, yes, and this time, um, maybe, yeah. No, I'm not gonna. Not maybe. I'm afraid to, to go away from this syrup or so. so I'm gonna be just uh, here with my syrup stirring my syrup from a while from time to time uh, so for the people who just joined now you can just maybe watch the video later or so uh, if you want to have the recipe let me know I'll be happy to share it I think I will be able to edit the video uh, just at least the the content uh, at the top of the post uh, where I can put the recipe, the ingredients as well. Any ingredients. Um, I'm excited as well, Wafa. Like, just sharing some skills that I already got passed to me from someone else, it really makes me happy. If you would like to see more recipes, or you would like to see uh, uh, food that I make, or you know that I'm good at, let me know. I'll be happy to share. Or if you want to like, maybe to send me a recipe and I can try it. It's going to be more embarrassing, but... Yes! The smell of the rose water is amazing. Mm. Okay, and now we're gonna be I'm gonna be checking on the cake. So as I said it's I put it in the bottom of the oven and I wanna check when it's baked and I wanna check with a knife. I will show you how so you can see if it's cooked from the side or not. 
and when it's you find it baked, you're gonna we're gonna take it to the top where we're gonna make prawns just for the top to cake to bake as well. Uh, okay. Cooking mittens that one myself, and I'm gonna be. So here's the knife. Um, so checking. Let's see. So here's the thing. I will just start with this. See, you see. So F texture come with you. Yeah. No. With the knife, it means it's not cooked yet or it's not ready to to place it in the other rack. So I'll put it to the side and I will be checking it later. I want to change this music. I don't see if there's harissa music. Let's see, or baking music. Baking cake music. Yay. Okay. Uh, so it's start to be cooked now. The syrup is almost ready. It's taking around 10 minutes so far. Um, when I go live, sometimes I do not really. I lose my sense of time. <laughs> I like. I feel excited. I just wanna like all the idea come to my mind. That I'm happy that I have a recipe at least that I'm following. Uh, but yeah, for this stage. We're gonna be cooking in the syrup for 10 minutes and we're gonna be cooling it. If there's no rain outside, I may put it in a balcony so we're gonna just uh, making this, uh, making it cold quicker, I say. So who's excited f beside Wafa? <laughs> Who does not want this cake? This is it's still. It's not not thick enough. You cannot. You see. I I test it like. It's still like the drops are not really thick. Okay. So, as I said earlier, you can really replace things if you don't have certain things or if you have allergy for certain things or just like you don't prefer I do remember last week someone told me oh I wanna change the I wanna replace the coconut to something else and I said like yeah sure you can or like it's just gonna make it a different flavor some people maybe don't they don't like it with vanilla some people they don't find the rose water is a good test or or even the lemon so you can really have uh, alternatives Okay, I'm gonna check on the cake again. It's really good. It's baking. So if you tried it, please let me know. Please, um, be happy to hear the feedback, how it's turned, or if you are not sure about any step in this recipe. Um, I'll show you how it's turned to be really, it's supposed to not ready, it's look like thick. Um, yes, you see, it's, the drop now it's constant more, and it's ready, and I'm gonna be trying to cool it out, just for now. Oh. Oh, you know what? I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I put the syrup on the balcony. Uh, so it's good for the syrup to get cold a bit. 
my, set, my sister actually taught me this because I do remember like not the last time the one before I tried it and I was making this cake and I put the syrup hot or warm and the cake was warm as well and it turned to be really really moist uh, so to avoid that I as my sister suggests to make one of them cold or like one of them should be cool enough so either the, the cake should be cool or the syrup itself and for me I found it easier just to cool down the, the syrup by putting it outside or you can put it in a sink as well and turn out some hot some cold water just from the bottom um, that's another trick you can do it in the kitchen if you don't have a balcony but I uh, I'm gonna just put it out there now I'm gonna be checking again on okay I'm gonna be taking out no don't hurt myself safety first whoa and it starts to be fluffy I just wanna check to see if it's Whoa, and I'm gonna show you now. Um, so, as you, I'm gonna show you, I'm, nothing there coming. I'm trying here, nothing up, which means it's cooked from inside. And you can see it in the corner how it's turned. So this is a tiny, don't worry. It's not getting burned. And the smell is really good. But now, it's the time to put in the top rack to make it a bit bronze and I think for this stage gonna take around maybe five minutes or less you need really to be careful in this moment because I put it in the top rack of the oven and we don't want to get burned uh, yeah okay. do you have any questions so far gonna be putting things back because um, just I like to have the kitchen teddy who's gonna be trying to do it again who tried it before for people who are joining um, Baking a cake, it's a traditional cake, um, semolina yogurt cake. Some people call it uh, coconut cake, and it's called harissa. Not the harissa, not the spicy one again. You can read the comment to know more about that harissa, the other harissa. But also, it's called baspusa. I think the Egyptian called baspusa. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna check on the cake. I don't want to forget it. I don't want it to get burned. I want just to have it bronze. It's so good. But I'm gonna be saving it for now. We have been out for 42 minutes. I'm really good that I feel like I'm on a track. It's supposed to take 45 to 50 minutes. So I'm really happy that uh, that recipe is really straight to the point. Um, and they do have, as I said, um, another recipes. They have the vegan and the gluten-free recipes. Beside the, the my recipe, so feel free. Actually, it's not. It's my recipe, but also I like inherited from a friend. So I want to say thanks to her. I wish you are here to try it. So if you have any comment, any feedback about this video, please write it down or share it with me. If you want a recipe as well, you can just comment saying like I want a recipe or like just mention what recipe you want to. And I'll be happy to email it to you. Yes, uh, my email is Mohammed at max auto.ca m-o-h-a-m-a-d at m-a-x o-t-t-a-w-a 
Ca. Yes. Happy that I, I still remember my email. Mm. I do also want to remember the cake. So let's try again. Whoa. It smells so good, but it's not ready yet. Um, soon. Yes. Um, I'm gonna be checking on the syrup. See if it's cool enough so I can put it back. It will be ready. So I will be pouring it on the. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Okay. La 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 la. So it's really easy recipe that you can make it. Mm -hmm. I want to check one more time. I'm so excited. And let's see how it looks like. I'll wait. In a few minutes. I cannot wait. <laughs> I wanna see it. But okay. We'll wait more minute. Mm. Okay. So what are you doing this afternoon? What are you up to? What do you have plans for the weekend? Um trying to think what do I have for the weekend? I think I want to catch up on my TV show that they had been I've seen last week weekend so that's one thing I'm going to do one run earlier one of my friends was calling so sorry no 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 uh, was excited woohoo no not yet so be waiting a bit yes so that's my plans for the weekend how about you what's your plans type them down let me know what are you doing maybe you can do a house party online one maybe watch a movie I don't know or if you want to suggest something for me Yes, thanks God, it's Friday. Ahmed, I'm more excited than you, believe me. Uh, Namura. Oh, so she's saying some places in Syria they call it Namura. Yes. I've been checking Wikipedia actually. They, it has many, many different names in different places. So even in Syria, they have different names. Thank you, Oji. I really appreciate it. Namura. So we are making Namura. We are making Harissa. We're making Bespusa for the Egyptian. Uh, do you know what Namura means? Oh. Okay, it's out to be bronze a bit, but you're gonna be waiting another minute or two. I'm gonna go check again on the syrup because they've seen in the first forecast today that there's rain. I don't want my syrup to be rainy. I want to be running on. Yes, okay. Takes some time. I think it's good enough, but just let me take mercy, Hagar. 
Uh, what are you making today? What are you doing? I don't leave you without showing you what the result. But I need to leave at three, so it's not a teaser. <laughs> I'll show you. Do you have any other question? Would you would consider maybe trying that cake? Maybe you want to order the shirt? Um, I'll check one more time. I think it's... Yeah, I'll wait another minute. But it's... Totals would take about 45 to 50 minutes between preparation and between baking. So I think we are really in a good time, in a good shape. No. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to show you, it's almost done. Hugger, are you excited? So I'm looking for ideas for next week. If you want me to, to cook something, bake something, please suggest it. Or if you have something maybe you wanna share it with us, just send in my email, just comment here maybe. If you would like to, maybe you can make your recipe into life, who knows? So I'm walking through, walking to the syrup because I'm gonna be bring it now. It's cool enough. And uh, uh, the one like kushari. Oh, do you mean fava or chickpeas? Yeah. That's what you mean? Uh. Whoa. One, one more minute, promise. One more minute, I'm gonna be taking it out. I think it's ready and I'm just gonna clear the oven the top here and I'll show you how we'll be cutting it to squares and how we'll be putting the syrup on the top so Ooh. no the one with the wheat and lentil Oh, uh, okay, you mean Mujaddara? Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, let me think about it. I think I do have the lentil because every time now I think about any recipe, I think about do I have it or not? Is it necessary to go out or not? So, I think I have the bulgur, which is the wheat, and they have the lentil, and it's needed uh, onion. Okay, let's see if I can make it next week. What's different? Do you do you know what's different between the mojadara and the kushari? I think your the kushari has pita or had bread in it, maybe. Okay, and this time I'm gonna be taking the cake out. I think it's ready. Uh -huh. Whoa, it looks so good. I can't wait to show you. Okay, the one with the. Okay, let's see. So, this is how it looks like. Yay! Okay, and you can see there is still the mark. But I'm gonna be putting the mark again. Oh my god. 
Uh, the reason that I'm cutting it now because I want to put the syrup and I want the syrup to go inside. I want the syrup to go through the squares. Yes, so now I'm cutting it. Uh, yes, as you can see. Whoa! are so it's cutted and there's some spaces where I can pour the syrup so it get through and here's my syrup and now I'm gonna be I think I'm gonna just put it aside I'm gonna show you from here okay um, so I'm adding this syrup Okay, um, I think I made sort of more than what I want to, but I think would be good if you leave it for another day for leftovers. You can still can um, add some syrup every time you want to have a piece. So here's how it look like. Uh, if you would like it to have it more brownish, you can put and like it this bronze, and then I want to show you. Final, final one, I'm gonna be cutting a piece for myself. I'm gonna be putting a piece for myself. And I will show you how it will be. Oh, la, la, la. Okay. gonna be having one from here. Okay. There we are. Oh, can you see it? No. Yes. So it's a real piece and you can see a color from um there you are. This is how it looked like. And see even it's not sticky because of the the tahini was down. And in time, Chris! Do you want to have a piece of cake? Yes, so is the cake. And um, I think some people would like to have it with some ice cream, so you can put on the top as well. Um, I think with this, I'm gonna be ending the live. This is my cake, it's all ready. Um, I hope you're gonna enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much, Max, for giving me the platform to share some skills and share some love, so some positive and healthy recipe. Uh, yes, I hope we'll catch up with you soon. Take care and bye.